So, I keep getting sidetracked. We got bone meal. We have clay. The reason we got bone meal is so that we can make a crucible. Like so. Boom. Boom. And we only need seven, so boom. Craft that up. Smelt it up. That's going to get us a crucible. That's also going to complete a quest. Cool. Once we complete that quest, we get access to the cobblestone generator. So we are going to need to get ourselves a little bit more uh, clay here so we can make two buckets. We want a bucket of lava and a bucket of water. The bucket of water we'll get from this. The bucket of lava we will get from this guy here. For now, I'm fairly certain this guy is going to have to go over a torch. Might as well place it over a pre-existing torch like so. And we'll throw in four pieces of cobblestone. One, two, three, four. Nice. That's going to get us a bucket of lava. Uh, this is almost done. We can use these little glass bottles here to move this over to here. Unfortunately, it does keep moving inventory slots, which is a pain, but we should probably just make the inventory slot next to the water bottle free. Makes life a little easier. And four. Should probably also get another bucket worth of water going, because I think we might need more than just the one. Uh, and also means I should probably keep these uh, clear bottles on me just in case as well. And then if we throw some dust into there, it should get us. I think I should get two here, right? Because we're going to do two. Some clay. Nice. Boom. And boom. Cool. Those are the two buckets we're going to use. Uh, the lava is on its way. The lava is going to take a bit of time because it's pretty slow. But we'll be back. You should make an infinite water source. Yeah, we definitely should. <laughs> that, that would make a lot of sense as well, actually, now that you mention it. Uh, yeah, we, we could do that while we wait, right? Yeah, we got a little bit of time left on... Uh, on that uh we should also look towards making our base a little bit uh nicer looking we've still got these half slabs which are slowly but surely driving me insane um i guess we can harvest this now was it it's, <laughs> we don't need this this is such a, a ludicrously slow way to get string like until we get the hopping bonsai pots this is very much so not necessary like it's just faster to use silkworms right as opposed to growing this the the string very slowly on uh on a tree there. All right. And for the time being, we'll just put our limit, our uh, unlimited water source like here. Sure, why not? We can always move things around and kind of reconfigure everything uh, later on down the line. For now, two buckets of water, or two buckets for water. We'll put one right about there. <laughs> Excuse me? Why? 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 Why are you like this game? Why? Why do you do this to me? Okay. All right. There we go. <laughs> That's better, I guess. But cool. So now we can make clay very easily indeed, which is nice. Uh, but yeah, I'm thinking we should use our first bucket of lava to uh, power the crucible just so we can get more lava faster going forward. Lava processing. Yeah. So we can use blaze quartz, yellowium, blaze mesh, plutonium, ludicrite, Heat sand, awakened draconium, and then maybe something else. I don't know if that's just gibberish or if it's hinting at like a further, like a, a better block. Um, how good is the? Oh, I should I should claim that right. How good is the blaze mesh? Blaze mesh. So it's just blaze powder. We get blaze powder from sifting dust? We do, from an iron stiffened mesh. How much blaze powder do we have? We've got zero blaze powder. All right. Sifting dust? What are the odds? 5%. They go up to 10 with the diamond stiffened mesh. All right. This does seem a lot better, right? What was the what was the rate there? 30 times? Yeah. Right now we're at one times, so going up to 30 times would be quite nice. Let's 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 do a little bit of sifting here. Let's see if we can just quickly get ourselves nine blaze powder. It seems unlikely, right? If it's five percent chance, you know, getting that means like one in twenty approximately will give us blaze powder. And so, if we want to get, yeah, look, they follow me. This is why I'm thinking the, mag the magnetic works because look, they chase me. Oh, this is the this is the benefit that we get out of having that magnetizing chat. Like our stuff. It follows us around. It's inhabited. It's, it's ghostly. I love it. Uh, heat sand is very OP and easier to and easy to get in the Nether. Hmm. Really? Heat sand. Ah. Oh, okay. In that case, then, I mean, let's 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 give this a try, right? So, what we're we gonna do here? We want to get. I guess uh, we've got to make a um a thing first, right? So, okay. Let's. I'm gonna take this lava. I am gonna use this initial bit of lava for the crucible, just because I'm fairly certain we in the quest line at least we need to get. We need to make a cobblestone generator before we go for the nether. And so 
Um, although I would like to use our lava to make a lava infused stone to make getting obsidian easy, um, we are going to have to make another bucket of lava to get the cobblestone generator at some point. And so just in the interest of making life a little bit quicker here, let's go ahead and do something like this. I want to make sure that my uh, base doesn't catch on fire, ideally. That's the uh, plan, at least. I feel like this is not a secure way of doing this, but let's see. I think it's going to be like two or three times, right? Three times, nice. Okay, cool. So it's, you know, three times faster. Can't really complain. Um, we could try and get some uh, some blaze powder, but if people are right about the uh, the heat sand being easy to get, then it might be worth going for that instead. Uh, just because the heat sand is 120x, like that's crazy fast. So yeah, I think we should uh, we should try and go for that if, if possible. Uh, you did an iron bucket anyway for the infused stone. This is true. Yeah, we do need one iron bucket. Yeah, we should make one. Oh, so ah, oh, that's not how we make buckets. This is why people want me to make the uh, the magnetized thing. Right, we need iron plates. Iron plates are easily uh, easiest, I guess, made on the crushing table. Right. Okay. Cool. That's an interesting little. Uh, so, like, I mentioned at the beginning of the stream that not a lot of stuff has been changed in the the normal mode of Project Ozone Three, which is what we're playing. But uh, it's interesting they chose to make that change, like, uh, over some other changes. Like, for the most part, things are vanilla, but that change has been made. That's interesting, but uh, not too bad. We can go ahead and grab some aluminium here, craft that up into the aluminium chunks, and then. I think we only need three to make the um, the crushing table here, so we'll smelt that up. Uh, let's have a look. Is it crushing table? Is that what it's called? It is. And I think we also need a hammer for mag uh, from magnetic craft as well. Hammer at magnetic craft. Yeah. I'm assuming a stone hammer works, but I mean, is there any reason for us not to use an iron hammer? The stone hammer works. All right. Is the iron hammer just... Like, my, my only thought process there is that the iron hammer might have either more durability or be used for materials later on down the line. All right, let's make some slabs and then let's make ourselves one of these tables and then let's go ahead and grab some cooked apples because we need to eat. And by grab some cooked apples, I mean cook some non-cooked apples into cooked apples. Should maybe save a few just in case we need to craft like an apple tree at some point. That is also a quest complete. Always happy to hear that uh, quest sound and claim some more R.A.K. How much RAK we got now? We got 10 in our inventory. Do we have any more in here? No, we're at, we're at 10. We spent all of our earlier RAK, so now we're back at the beginning again with 10. That's fine. All right, so if I just throw down these on here and then hammer it. So right click, not a left click, by the way. It does auto replace the, uh, the iron, which is nice. And then boom, boom, boom. And a bucket. Awesome. So uh, we can go ahead and use that to grab our lava. Uh, we, I think, I don't know if you can mix and match these. I'm going to try. Like, I don't know. The recipe for the cobblestone generator, it doesn't specify the mix and match recipe. Like it says, like either using both iron or both clay. But uh, I'm intrigued as to whether or not using one of each works. We do have quite a lot of sand, which is nice. Let's go ahead and smelt up a singular piece of glass. I'm going to assume I have to make another bucket. Maybe another iron bucket. Doesn't work. Ah, that's annoying. That's a pin. All right. I guess we're making another another bucket. I guess we could... Um, can we craft on the floor? No. Uh, oh, we got another crafting station here, though, right? I guess we could have um, used another clay bucket, maybe, but nevertheless, we're not too low on iron at this point, so boom. Quest? Complete? There it is. Nice. Swap the buckets place. Oh, I put them in the wrong section. Ah, okay. Gosh dang it. Ah, well, you know, you can never have too many buckets, right? Maybe. Okay. Uh, next up is the nether. So we do get 10 overworld apples. That is interesting. So it wants us to have 10 obsidian. So my thought here, we go ahead and get some lava. Once we've got some lava, we're going to try making the uh, lava infused stone. For that, we do need four hardened stone. Four hardened stone is made with cobblestone, sand, clay, and iron. It looks like all we're missing is clay and iron. We've got clay there. We can make more clay very easily now with our uh, wooden barrel and our infinite source of water. We should probably make sure the wooden barrel is near the infinite source of water just to make our lives even easier. But for now, this will do. We can craft the clay into clay balls, like so. And we can craft the clay balls up into this unhardened stone, which we can then, of course, go ahead and smelt. We don't need eight, but it's always nice to have extras. 
And boom. We should also maybe set up like a, uh, a storage drawer or something so we can start actually uh, collecting the cobblestone, right? So we don't have to keep like manually using the uh, Garden of Grass, like uh, shifting to get the uh, the stones. Uh, and also it might be a terrible idea just to kind of upgrade this right out of the gate here if we've got enough iron, which we don't, but we can always smelt more, right? Because I don't, I think it's just nine iron, oh, sorry, eight iron to upgrade. Yeah, eight iron takes it from uh, one cobblestone every two seconds, I think. Yeah, one cobblestone every 40 ticks, uh, 20 ticks per second, so two seconds, uh, to once every 20 ticks, so it doubles the speed at which it produces cobblestone, which is, you know, quite nice. Uh, we are out of tiny charcoal. Can we make tiny coal? We can. Nice. We got a lot of tiny coal as well, very nice. So one, two, three, four, and then we just need that bucket of lava, which might already be done. Not quite, it's almost there though. Uh, whilst we wait for that, let's go ahead and smelt up some more iron. I'm already out of inventory space, gosh dang it. Like so, clear out some inventory space because my inventory is full of way too much trash right now that we don't need to be carrying around with us. And then hopefully we should be able to upgrade this uh, nice and easily. And whilst we wait, we should also look towards making a storage drawer to actually store all of the cobblestone in. And I'm thinking actually, if we think ahead a little bit, what we should do is make that straight into a compacting drawer so that we can pull it out in compressed form without having to compress it manually. That would be quite nice. Um, also, like, I'm fairly certain if I move my crafting station here, let's try not to fall off the edge, but if I move my crafting station, I'm fairly certain I should be able to pull from what's inside of this crate, right? Like, if I do this, yeah, so now if I try and make a piston, it works because it can pull the redstone out of the crate. That's gonna make my life a lot easier instead of having to try and manually do everything, like manually pull things out of the crate, then craft. Being able to pull straight from the crate is uh, is quite nice. All right, cobblestone, smell that up to get some uh, normal stone. And then let's go ahead and craft up you with, oh, please tell me we got one more iron. No, are we one iron short? Oh man, <laughs> I thought we had enough. That's fine. We can we can wait until the stone's done. Um, and whilst we wait, though, our iron, our lava even should be ready. It is. Nice. Which means we should be able to go ahead and make the lava-infused stone, which is this guy down here. And then, if I'm not mistaken, the way that this works is we put this down. I don't know. I don't know if this sets fire. Doesn't? Which is nice. I was worried for a second it might just start lighting things on fire all over the place. Thankfully, it looks like it doesn't, which is nice. Uh, but I'm fairly certain that if we just put this down next to a block of water, it just starts spitting out lava. Uh, it starts spitting out um, obsidian, I think. It turns the block next to it into obsidian. All right, and then we need some kind of block breaker, I guess, to break this. Is that right? Oh, gosh. Oh, it does hurt you. Okay, but it doesn't set fire. Okay, that's fine. The embers breaker could do obsidian. Okay, breaker. From embers, you say. Automatic breaker from embers rekindled. All right, that doesn't seem too bad. Four lead, one iron, one redstone, and two iron plates. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Before I forget, what was I crafting my stone with? Oh, I was upgrading. First of all, I need to put iron in there. I need one more iron for the upgraded cobblestone generator. I had the stone for the compacting drawer. That is what I was doing. Compacting drawer, capel. Nice, let's go store our cobblestone. In just a second, we can now go ahead and upgrade our cobblestone generator real quick. Like so. I should not be missing an iron. Did I just use an iron for something? I don't think so, right? Did I? Yes, I use it to make the compacting door. Okay, smell some more iron. Uh, maybe cover the hole so you don't fall into it. You are a genius. I was going to do that. I completely forgot. Thank you. All right, now we should have enough iron. Boom and boom. Nice. So we can just put this down uh, pretty much anywhere on the island. I'm not really too bothered just yet because I will do some uh, kind of island reorganizing at some point, probably between streams to make things look a little nicer. But now we're generating cobblestone, which is nice. Uh, we can also pull it out either in compressed or double compressed form if we would like, which is very nice indeed. Um, so let's look at getting ourselves this breaker. So we need to get ourselves um, some lead pieces, which I don't think should be too difficult. We do have a fair bit of lead here, enough to get at least four lead ingots. 
throw that in there. And then whilst we're waiting for that, we can go ahead and get our two iron plates by doing this. And that's pretty much it, right? Like once these are done, we should be able to make the breaker. And then if the breaker can break the obsidian, we, uh, we should be good to go. Nice. Oh, nice. Oh, that is super neat. But now it's making cobblestone. Um, if there's a source block there and you place it down. Wait, what? I thought I made obsidian. It's a nice cobblestone generator, but... Oh, is it because I got rid of the water beneath it? Is it now flowing water and thus not working correctly? Um, does that now make... Now it makes obsidian. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think it was just because it was flowing water and not a still source block of water. Now if I place this here again... Excuse me? I beg your pardon, good sir. This is not... This is not the contract that I agreed to. It's the flowing water for a second before being a source block. I don't think you've enough time to go soft block. Hmm, okay. That's interesting. We definitely did this in uh, in Fallcraft. I'm trying to remember how we did it to make it so that this this worked. I think we had like... Yeah, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure that we had um, a... One second, let me put this down. Let me put this here. I'm pretty sure... <laughs> that's bizarre that it breaks the actual water soft block. That's weird. Um, but uh, I'm pretty sure that we had like a fluid placer. So I think I had... A uh, unlimited water source being picked up and put into a fluid placer, then a fluid placer placing the lava infused, placing the water down in front of the lava infused stone, right? Uh, how expensive is a fluid placer? It's an auto placer with two buckets, which is a basic coil. So, I mean, if we can get a atomic reconstructor, this shouldn't be too difficult. But I do agree that for now, we can probably just go ahead and put down um, water source blocks in front of the lava stone and get just lava. Right? Like, that seems like it could be very easy for us to do. So, for now, I'm just going to get rid of this. I'm going to put this down right about there, preferably pointing in the right direction. I'm assuming that's just because I didn't put it down against the block. So, if I do this and this, it's going to break the cobblestone, get rid of that cobblestone, and we can just do this, right? I'll catch up in a second. Trust me. No? There we go. Eight. Nine. And ten. Nice. And that is a quest complete. Nice. Cool. Okay, so... We now have ten overworld apples. I assume, chat, that ten overworld apples allow me to come back to the overworld. So we could, I think, just jump off the edge here, go to the land of the nether, and use the apples to come back. But I think we do also run the risk of jumping into the nether and thus landing in lava in the nether that could be pretty bad um piston with a redstone clock oh that could work as well like maybe having like it are you saying like to push the lava stone to the water maybe possible i might try some more stuff out with that in a second here but um you might not spawn at the right place in the overworld oh so like when you eat the overworld apple does it bring you back to your corresponding spot in the nether is that how that works I would have assumed it brought you back to either spawn or to your base, but if it brings you back to where you are in the nether, to like to the relative position, then I could see yeah how that could be a how that could be an issue. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna build this like I don't know. I we can't move this yet. We don't have a diamond pickaxe, right? Uh, and so, in fact, I might just build out a little bit and put it like uh, back here somewhere. Because I'm not a huge fan of the uh, kind of background nether portal sounds, and so I think for the time being. Uh, and also the, the platform is like an odd number wide, so you gotta awkwardly place this thing down. But that's that's fine. I'll I'll I'll, I'll awkwardly place it off center for the time being. That's fine. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Would you look at that? He's a pro. All right. Get rid of the cobblestone because it looks horrible. Don't take too much damage because we shouldn't die. Uh, we do need flint and steel, that is true. Uh, flint and steel is made using flint and steel. But we can make steel using tiny progressions. Uh, it's made with coal, a stone hammer, and two iron. The stone hammer is made with sticks, hardened stone, and string. We've got one piece of hardened stone in our inventory. I'm also fairly certain we can make another piece of hardened stone very easily with a bit of smelting here. Uh, do we have some string? We do. Do we have some sticks? We do. Nice. We can get steel. We can craft that with some flint. I'm hoping it's a shapeless craft. 
it is good stuff. That gets us flint and steel. Let's clear our inventory space here. Uh, should we chat, get A, some armor, or B, some form of sword before, or, or, and or some form of sword before we head off to the nether? I feel like that would not be a terrible idea. I'm going to keep a hold of these overworld, overworld apples as kind of a last resort, uh, just in case. Uh, we got our tool, the flint and steel we can use to light our portal. Boop. Nice. Sounds dangerous. Nah, just go. You'll be good. Ha 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 Hmm, okay. Yes, you should. Okay. Um, what kind of armor can we make? My first question is, can we make, like, wooden armor? Because although it's terrible, I think it's hilarious, and I would love to wear it. Um, so I'm going to try this real quick. I know Tinker's Constructor used to add, like, an oak chest plate that you could make. Alas, it appears we do not have the ability to make that, and so instead we should make some serious armor. Uh, in which case, I'm probably just going to go ahead and make, like, iron. It's best to get at least a sword. Yeah, the sword makes sense, especially seeing as we can just make one, right, with uh, with Tinker's Construct here. Uh, where are my blank patterns? They are here. Uh, so let's go ahead and make a sword. I am going to go with, again, I've got to remember that I can access all of these at the top now. Let's just go with, like, a standard broadsword for now. So we just need a, a wide guard. Again, don't have to tab out, Isaac. You can just go over to the stencil table. And then wide guard is this one. And so I guess we just made, like, a flint sword, right? You can make leather with string. Isaac, look at the Lota quest line. Workbench. The first workbench to begin armor crew. Oh, can I make, hmm. Can I make like a normal iron chest plate? I cannot. I have to do it in, ah, I see. I see there is a there is a progression line to the armor. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see then. So the first quest in this quest line is to make the normal workbench from armor plus. The armor plus plus workbench is made with three lapis, one crafting table, and then blocks of charcoal? Is it really four blocks of charcoal or 32 blocks of coal? That seems like a bizarre, <laughs> like, trade-off there. It also looks like you can use either three lapis or three blocks of lapis if you want. I don't know, man, but okay, let's get um, charcoal, I guess. We'll smelt some, uh, some coal up here. The mobs drop tons, uh, tons of armor. We haven't actually fought any mobs yet. Um, like, hold on. Question, does, they, does anyone know if I actually have to use eight blocks of coal for this each time? I'm going to test this recipe out without eight blocks of coal, but maybe just with, like, four blocks of coal to see if that works. Because eight blocks of coal seems insane, right? Upgrade the furnace for faster smelting. You are correct. I did plan to upgrade the furnace, but we should do it right now. Boom. And boom. Nice. Uh, I'm going to stop putting things in the floor because I'm afraid I'm going to lose something eventually. Especially when they start getting a little bit more expensive. I don't like putting them in the floor. I'm a, so bad at placing blocks. There we go. All right. Uh, tiny charcoal and wood. That's a nice bit faster. Um, there's an even fast. We can go like straight to gold, right? I think. Gold furnace. Cook time 120 ticks. Diamond furnace. Emerald furnace. I kind of wish you didn't have to go through the diamond furnace to get to the emerald furnace. Because we've got the emeralds. We just don't have the diamonds. Uh, how much gold have we got? We've got quite a bit of gold. It might not be a terrible idea to go and uh, jump straight in with a gold furnace as well, maybe. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, all right. While we're waiting for that, actually, let's go back to our uh, table here. We were going to get the white guard, which we did. And then, let's see here, part builder. We want to get a, oh, we need another stencil, right? We also need the uh, sword blade, like so. So, part builder, we'll go with, I guess, a flint sword for now. I assume that's probably the Still better than cobblestone. Uh, apparently, we should be using wood for our bindings and our rods because they've got more durability. Is that correct? Uh, so, part builder, we'll make a flint blade and then we'll make a wooden rod. So, what's this? So, we're here we've got the wooden rod has a durability of 35, a mining speed of 2, and an attack of 2. So, 35, 2, 2. That's 100. So, we should just make our tool entirely out of flint, right? Oh, no, so, oh, I see, so the head, right, no, the handle here has a durability of negative 60. No, so we should make our handle out of wood. Yes, okay. And then we should make our binding out of wood as well. 25 and 1, negative, yeah, okay, so it should be like this. So tool station, uh, I'm a fool, though, because we don't need a binding... We do need a rod. We don't need a binding. I need a uh, a wide guard. 
Uh, I'm assuming a wide guard is probably like similar to a, a handle. It's probably like the same durability 15, durability 40. Oh, so I, I should just make the wide guard out of whatever has the highest durability, like that. And then tool station, sword, boom, 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 like that. This means right, durability 236, attack 5, modifies 3. The attack's not super high, but I guess it gets the job done, right? Could look towards making like a basic smell tray so that we can get... Um, like a better sword, you know, like an iron sword at some point uh, in the near future, but I guess we can work on that when we come back. All right, this is almost ready, so we can go ahead and upgrade the uh, iron furnace here. And then how much coal, how much charcoal do we have? We've got two, because I've, I've been using it to get more tiny charcoal here. Yeah, we need a lot of charcoal if we're going to make this uh, this workbench here, but I would like to get it, because I don't want to... I would like to try to go as long as possible without dying in this pack, as is my goal in most packs. Is the... Uh, Charcoal still in there? No, you just lose it. Okay. Got to bear that in mind. You do lose the inventory of this when you break it. I think someone did tell me that earlier, actually, now that I think about it. I'm just a fool for not uh, remembering it. But uh, yeah, I would like to try and not die, if plausible. I don't know how plausible it's going to be, but it'd be nice. Uh, you need the porcelain smeltery to make the bricks for the normal smeltery. Yeah, I assumed there was some kind of like uh, intermediary step with the smeltery in this pack, because it does say here in the quest book, it goes through the um the porcelain stuff it says it's required for the normal smeltery so i assume there is like a uh an intermediary step there that's not normally there but has been added to the pack to make it a bit more difficult so i need 32 charcoal good luck on that i assume that's on me uh me not dying here i haven't died yet let's have a look. number of deaths some people have already died a few times you know zero deaths we can we can do this right we can we can do this i will not fall off a single time in this entire pack uh, you didn't get the quest for the iron furnace, did I not? Did I uh, mess that up? Usually it does it when you just... It's not a crafting recipe? Oh, that's a pain. Uh, Alright, I mean, I'll have to make another one at some point. That's fine. This quest line's okay, though. We can we can come back to that later on down the line. I think we just lost out on some uh, some rack, some RAK. So yeah, we just need 32 charcoal, and then we're, I think we're good to go to make this workbench, right? So how does this work, then? Whilst we wait for that to smelt up... If I go back to uh, like an iron chest plate here, it looks like we work through every chest plate. I'm assuming actually, if I just look in the quest book, it shows you the the path. So you start with leather, coal. So you, just, you, go, you go through this kind of daisy chain here and iron's like, iron's quite far down. So it's leather, coal, copper, tin, electrum, silver, aluminium, void, constantin, gold, chain, nickel, lead, osmium, then iron. Anari, black quartz, thorium, all the way down to emeraldic crystals, at which point you got to get a high-tech workbench to start with night slime, move up to fiery. I think this might be like um, the Twilight Forest, because I know that is in the pack as well. And then uh, ulti tech, and then champion to get all the way up to draconic. All right. That's interesting. I do remember Project Ozone 2 having this kind of chain where you had to go through every single chest plate to get to the highest tier. I don't know if I love it. It's a lot of a lot of chest plates you've got to go through, but I mean, I guess it does make it harder to get to that super OP armor that is like the draconic armor there because like that armor is real good and i think usually is a bit too easy maybe uh the leather chest plate is yeah just leather which i was told we can make from string we can woven cotton okay we need more string quite a bit more string by the looks of it as well okay that's fine where is all of our dirt let's go set up that uh three by three again i guess things are gonna get a bit that's not what i want to do things are gonna get a little bit cramped here but that is fine. Yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna get a lot more string real quick. <laughs> work table, or work bench, kapow. Nice. All right. How does this thing look? It looks pretty big. Oh, that looks that was pretty neat actually. I like that. I'm gonna stick a slab underneath it so it's not just floating. But I dig this. It looks cool. All right. So it's just a normal crafting table, but you can use it to make armor, I guess. Sure. Why not? The Galactic, the Galactic Craft Flag Maker, perhaps? Uh, possibly, this here. It could be. I'm not sure. Maybe. All right, so we're just going to wait for these to uh, all be fully infested, at which point we can grab our crooks, begin breaking these down. Again, still not sure. Does anyone know? Anyone have, like, solid data on whether or not a crook is useful or not on infested leaves? I keep working under the assumption that it is, but uh, I've got no... I've got no scientific empirical evidence to back myself up on that so i have no idea i just assume it is every time because we keep getting a lot of string all 
I find it, it's a little weird, right? That you can make leather out of string. That seems a bit odd. No, just me. All right. So what was it here? Was it just like six like this? How do we use this to make leather? Um, oh, all the way around. So it's like that. All right. And we need what? Like, if we're going to make a full... I'm assuming it's the same for everything, right? Like, I'm assuming if we want to make iron boots, we've got to go through the full iron chain. Yeah, okay. So, we're going to need 24 leather if we want to make a full set here of leather armor. Also, question. Can you, like, upgrade partially broken armor? What's after leather in this chain? After leather, it's coal. Again, is this... There's, there's no... There's, there's no way that this requires... 56 coal right 56 blocks of coal is what i mean like there's no way that's what it requires this is this must be just surely this is seven blocks of coal not seven lots of eight blocks of coal right all right uh, that should be enough to get us the uh, i'm a fool again that should be en <laughs> enough to get us leggings over here like so and then a helmet nice so yeah if we're gonna upgrade this that means that like we need 24 blocks of coal, which is like, what, 24 times 9? 216 blocks of, of coal? 216 uh, coal, sorry, not blocks of coal. Which, I mean, that's quite a bit, right? What's that divided by 64? It's like 6, 12, 8, it's like 3 and a bit stacks, maybe? That's quite a bit of uh, of coal, <laughs> right, to invest in armor. How do you, where do you go from, uh, from coal? What's after that? So it goes to coal, and then it goes to copper. Copper seems like it might be easier to get 216. Oh, it's not even blocks of copper, so it's just um, 24 copper we need? Huh. Okay. Let me, okay. First of all, let me test this to see if this works. Like, if I do that and I'm not confident this will work, but I, I'm hoping that this will work. No, okay. Too much confidence. So you can't make normal recipes in the workbench. All right. I should probably put my workbench in, in hindsight a lot closer to my crafting station now that I think about it. Um, okay, what? Well, how much do we have here? We got 34. My goodness, we need so much. What was it, 10%? All right, I feel like it's not worth me doing this. What? What? what the, oh, no, we've got uh, the iron stiffened mesh. So 16% goes up to 20% with the diamond stiffened mesh. It's going to take me so long because I still need 216 cores. So I think for now, I'm just going to risk it. I'm going to go to the nether with my leather armor. My question, chat, is if I break the leather armor do i have to make the armor from scratch to upgrade it or can i put the broken armor into the workbench and upgrade the broken armor to the next tier and just have it on like have less durability like what's the uh what's the logic behind this do i have to make fresh armor every time and work through the whole chain if i break a little bit of the armor if so i'm gonna be unhappy uh all right this is fine i don't think we need to take anything really apart from like our tools we don't even need to take the flint and steel with us and uh, we have filled up our first crate there so we might have to make some uh better kind of storage when i get back but for the most part i think that's all i need right we're going to the nether for uh fire sand is it i forget the name of what we're after actually um we are looking to get are these repeatable quests or can i only do these once i think they're repeatable i think this just means it's complete but i can still do it again maybe I think so. Um, yeah, we're after heat sand is what we need, but we're also after something else. What else did I want to go to the nether for, chat? Uh, oh, soul sand. So we can sift soul sand to get nether quartz, so we can use that nether quartz. Or even just mine nether quartz if it's uh, not a sky nether. If it's a normal nether, we could just mine nether quartz, get the nether quartz, come back, and make the audibly upgrade for our furnace. That is the other thing that we're after. All right. I think it's not. I think it's a normal nether, right? It's not a skyblock nether, so the nether is fully formed. I'm pretty sure that's how it was in Project Horizon 2 as well. So that would make sense. We should definitely put down... Oh. Haife? Hi Ooh. We got a fortress right on us. I think that's good. All right. I'm going to put a waypoint down right away here. Waypoint. Because I always lose my nether portal. Portal. Make it that lovely nether portal purple color. Save. All right. We are here. Be careful in that biome. Is the mushroom biome a scary biome that I should be concerned about? Well, we're like right on top of a of a fortress, man. Like, oh boy, I'm a little worried mostly about um about like blazers. 
Maybe? Oh. I hear it. Yep. Oh, right. There's a, there's a blaze spawner just right there, eh? I mean, sure. Okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, none of this is what I'm after. I, I need soul sand and, and nether quads. So I'm going to kind of steer clear of that for just a second here. Of course, it's just my look that there is no soul sand like visible, right? If a spore creeper explodes, you can get a debuff that spawns spore creeper eggs wherever you go. Oh, man. That does not sound enjoyable, honestly. What? <laughs> what is this biome that we found ourselves in? What the heck? There's a wither skeleton with, like, a gigantic sword over there. So that's a thing. This is going to be really useful when we, when we need to get wither skeleton skulls, when we need to get blaze rods, um, or just fight blazes or whatever. It's going to be quite nice to have this here. I'm going to walk around with my sword out, just in case. But uh, as of right now, as of the uh, the needing of soul sand, this is not the look. This is another fortress right there. This is not the location that I want to be in, right? That's not even soul sand over there. Huh, okay, so there's a lot of nether quartz over in that direction, which I guess we could get. There were a lot of giant swords, okay. Ooh, so that's a spore creeper, I'm guessing. And not like the, the fun kind of video game spore. I'm assuming that's like a a nasty spore that I don't want. Oh, man. Um. All right, I don't think I can get over there without like bridging over because it's a no soul sand biome. Tell me about it. Okay. All right. Remember what I said earlier about not... I'm just trying to stay as far away from this spark creeper as I can. About not dying in this pack? I'm a little worried. Brown Mogus? Mogus? And red Mogus. Mogus. All right. It's eerily quiet as well. I don't know what it is, but... Lively Quartz or... What, mm, what what makes it lively? Like To me, lively makes it sound like he's gonna explode when I break it. Okay, we're fine. Twenty nether quartz is nice. Alright. Um Soul Sand. We're in a fungi forest. And I can tell you right now that these guys do not look like fun guys. So we don't need that much nether quartz is the thing. Like, we really don't need much. We're so far away from any soul sand. Like, what the heck? And what is that? Oh, man. So, yeah, I, I mean, I guess if we've got nether quartz, we don't need soul sand. Um, the thing that I would like is the, uh, the fire sand, if we can get any. Let me have a look here. It's heat sand, right? Heat sand. So it's just red sand. I think I have seen this before from uh, from Natura. That's a creeper egg. Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely. They look friendly. Go give them a hug. Hmm. I, I have a strict rule in that I don't give hugs to friendly looking people. I don't... Excuse me, was that just fall damage? I only give hugs to people who are standoffish. All right. Um. So there's the Mogus again. I'm going to avoid where possible here. There's also some kind of berry bush. A blight berry bush, which, you know, I'll take. Why not? Could be useful. Um, I don't see any nearby sand, like heat sand. Oh, yeah, spore. Sure. Stay away from that. A red elder mushroom cap. There's a lot, of, a lot of these. Do I get mushrooms from these? If so, this could be somewhat useful. No, that'd be too nice. Too, too easy, eh? Okay, I'm going to... I do have enough uh, enough um, levels for my totem. You are correct. When I get back, I should apply my my totem debuff because I do indeed have enough uh, enough levels now. All right. I think we're gonna have to do. Do we have like a glider? Might not be a bad idea to get a glider and then just like, especially given that leather is so easy to make with string. Like, we could just kind of get in here and then glide, like get to the highest point of a fortress maybe and try and glide to another nether point, maybe. That seems like it could be a bit of a recipe for disaster. I should also eat. Yeah, you are correct. 
Yeah, we definitely are going to need another biome. That is for sure. This biome is uh, is uh, a little a little scary. Um, the, I'm, I'm happy that we're so close to a blaze spawner, though. That is that is nice. I'm, I'm just a little, little, little tiny wee bit worried about our armor situation. So yeah, for now, I'm, I'm going to go back. All right, we're, we're doing a non a non death run. We don't die in the nether, and we don't... We don't die at all, all right? We don't die in Project Ozone 3, so I'm heading back. Isaac don't think we trust you with the glider. I mean... I mean I'm, yeah, that's fair. I think I've, I've never been... <laughs> I've never been too adept with the glider, honestly. Um, so let's have a look here. At Furnace. So what I want to get is I want to get the all processing upgrade from the Furnace Overhaul mod, which should double the output from my nice and fast gold furnace here. For that... I need four iron, four glowstone, and one blank upgrade. The one blank upgrade is just eight iron and then one nether quartz. We now got 32 nether quartz. We've got three out of the four glowstone. Uh, we can sift some more dust to get some more of that. That's fine. Um, we've already got the iron. All right, so this shouldn't be too difficult, actually. All right, so boom, and then we've already got enough uh, iron for the upgrade. So an all put, this seems like a very easy way of all doubling, right? So we throw this in here, and then now we can just, like, double. So, like, eight chunks get to 16 iron. Nice. Oh, that's so cool. And it does, I mean, it says all processing upgrade, but then it says doubles furnace results. Like, does that work with anything? Like, if I put glass in here, does it double my glass output? If so, like, it's even better than all doubling, right? That is super cool. The fact that it, like, doubles everything is really neat. And maybe a little bit overpowered. That's super cool. I like that a lot. Like, we get double apples, I guess, if we double cooked apples. That is super cool. Um, the next stage, then, I guess, really, is I would like to get a diamond furnace. Like, I want to upgrade the furnace again. Like, you know, once we've got diamond, we can probably go straight up to emeralds. We've already got, the, we got, like, seven emeralds. So if we can get four diamonds, we could upgrade to the diamond furnace, which takes it from 120 ticks down to 90 ticks. So, you know, from six seconds down to four and a half seconds. Which is not a huge increase, but then down to fifth day is, you know, two and a half seconds, which is a big difference. That's like three times faster than six. You know, we can get pretty quick and then down to half a second with the uh, the ender pearls, which would be nice. I'm assuming, yeah, the Philosopher's Stone, a little bit outside of our reach just now. So not really something we'll be working towards too quickly. And then the Zenith or Zenith Furnace, which is uh, one tick, so 20 times a second with the Nether Star, the Blaze Rods, the Netherrack and the Endist Furnace. Jeez, that would be quite nice to have, but it seems a bit far away just yet. Isaac, get the other upgrade for it. Which other upgrade? So we've got the efficiency upgrade, double the burn time. Is that the one we're thinking of? Oh, you can also make kits. I don't know why you'd make a kit. I guess if you don't want to pick it up, but you can make a kit, I guess, if you want. Um, the efficiency upgrade, yeah, seems actually quite easy. And if it doubles the burn time, it like means we have to use half as much charcoal. That seems very sensible, if I'm being honest. Can, okay, chat. Can I put two ore processing upgrades to double the double? Question mark? Or am I thinking too big? Am I, ho am I dreaming too high? If I put, can I make, a, there's three slots. And from what I can see, only two upgrades. Right? The mod is a work in progress by the looks of it, but can I put, Another double in. I don't think it will double the double. You could try it though. Do it. <laughs> I mean, I, it's just, just I need to sift more glowstone in that case. But I'll, you know what? For science, I will, uh, I will give it another go. This is compressed dust. So I get normal dust, but you know, I'll try it. All right, moment of truth, guys. It fits, but does it? Does it work? One, one piece. Do we get four? <sighs> we need, we need some sad music, man. Oh, stifled. You know, our innovation has been just stumped and, you know, just, it's, like, it's just a letdown, isn't it? Scam. I know, right? Oh, lets you put it in and everything and it just doesn't, doesn't work. Oh, oh, we dreamt too big, chat. We dreamt too big. All right, I am going to quickly... I want to see if I can get some diamonds, though, real quick. So I would love to get this uh, this furnace here that cooks every uh, 50 ticks. So let's grab some of our compressed cobblestone. I don't know how much we've uh, got.
got here. It just says compressed cobblestone plus seven. But we've got more than a stack, so I'll take it. Uh, where is my wand? It is here. And then I've already got my hammer on me. Nice. All right. We are running out of space. I definitely do need to do some, uh, some base expansions between streams to give us more space to work in. But we've got almost infinite vertical space, which is nice. Oh, we got four diamonds. Awesome. All right. So, 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 so. Okay. First things first. Let's get some... Uh, we should, I think, have enough iron here to make another iron furnace. I'm fairly certain. We've also got so much <laughs> stuff. We need a bigger storage uh, solution. But for now, let me get eight cobblestone. Let's grab ourselves a normal vanilla furnace, like so. Uh, quickly upgrade that to an iron furnace. Make sure that we claim our quest reward here because we do have a quest to claim. The back button is not working for me. There we go. Quest complete, nice. Um, we should also empty out and pick up. So I think if we pick this up without taking things out of it first, I think we just don't get some of the stuff back. So bear that in mind uh, if you're going to play the pack. But uh, we'll pick this up now that it's empty because that's another quest complete as well. Nice. And then let's go ahead and upgrade this to a, uh, a diamond furnace if we can. And that's another quest complete, right? Nice. Oh, it's so cool as well. It's like translucent. I like it. And then boom. Oh, you gotta click these in. You can't shift click them in. That's fine. And boom, boom. Oh yeah, look at that. Not ultra fast, but it's pretty quick, right? It's faster than the gold furnace was, was even if only a little bit. Um, and then also, actually, I'm a four, right? Because we can go straight up to the next tier. We've got the uh, we've got the emeralds. We can take that one step further. And complete yet another quest. I don't know if that's a good use of more than half of our emeralds and like all of our diamonds, but hey, why not, man, right? Another quest complete. Boom and boom. Nice. So now not only are we getting double and not only is our fuel twice as efficient as it was before, but on top of that, we're also doing it as fast as we've ever done it before, which is real nice. What is the, uh, was it 50 ticks on that? Yeah, 150 ticks. So two and a half seconds smelt time, which is quite nice. Right? If we compare that to like a uh, a standard vanilla furnace, what's the uh, what's the complete time on that? So we got like standard furnace, and then fast doubling furnace. I get so much faster. I love it. What's the uh, anyone know the smelt time on a standard furnace? 10 seconds for another furnace. All right, so it's uh, it's like four times faster at two and a half seconds. And it doubles it, you know, which I don't know if that makes it like twice as fast or just twice as good, but I'm happy with it. That's nice. That's a nice uh, a nice speed to have. And I really like the next, it would be nice to upgrade to that uh, end furnace. That was what, once a, once a second? Or was it once? Yeah, it was once a second, right? Oh, no, it was twice a second, right? Uh, at furnace overhaul the uh endless furnace goes down to 10 ticks so half a second and then of course the zenith furnace will be nice but it's quite far down the line um i think we do have at mystical agriculture right so we could also start looking into or we, we could if we wanted to use uh these furnaces as well which are also they do get quite fast but i think they're a lot harder to uh to go through all of the the chains of upgrading at least not without putting a lot of time into uh into mystical agriculture at the very least for now, I'm going to pick this dirt up because it's in the way and it's a complete utter mess. Uh, we've got a lot of resources that we can start to process now, which is quite nice. Uh, but guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up today's stream there for today. <laughs>